Hello to all my gorgeous peeps out there in my universal world of love. That's instead of the... Okay. So, today I'm going to show you my version of my throwdown greens. Okay, they're not quite collard greens because we don't get collard greens in this country over here in England. But we do get curly kale and just proper greens, okay? Now these are going to be made moi way, which means I'm throwing some bacon and I'm some throwing some chorizo up in there. Okay, uh, most of my recipes, if you notice, know because it's the way the world's going, pork free. But I'm a pork lady. I like my pork. And I have been deprived of my bacon. Because, you know, I do like to honor people's culture. And I, I have a young man here who doesn't eat pork. So, I try to avoid it. But you can't avoid it when you're making proper, 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 proper greens. Now, I know there's going to be people out there going, Oh, yes, you can. You can put smoked turkey in. Yeah, that's all and good if you can get it. If you can find it. Smoked turkey ain't made it across the, the waters yet. So over here, we can't just go into... Oh, it's going to go beep, 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 beep. You cannot just go into a supermarket and get smoked turkey the way you can in America. So people... Yeah, the, the smoke alarm is about to go. Like it's five, about to four, go three, off two, because I had my pan on heating up and I got a lot of smoke and it's very sensitive and I can see the smoke out there. So get ready, Katrina. Do you got the broom handle? Can you see something? Because it's going to go off. I'm going to tell you now. It's going to go off. So let's let that go off first before <laughs> I start because I guarantee you it's going to go off. So. Alright, well it'd be fun if it goes off. So, at the bottom of this pan, we've got a just a little bit of oil. To that, I'm going to add my onion first. Okay? So, we've got some onion. We also are going to add some peppers. To that, we're going to add my Cajun seasoning. Can I ask you a question? Yes, you can. Sometimes you season the pot and sometimes you don't. Yes. Is there a reason why? Well, I was going to season the pot, but you don't know what the onions oh. went in first. Okay. But look at this. Did you notice I put it in very quickly and I quickly tossed it? Okay. Because I do like for my onions and everything to be covered in your so seasoning. So would you normally have put the seasoning in first? I just throw my seasoning in, season my pot in the oil to burn off, get that fragrance going. All right? So... Now, just give that a little stir. To this, I'm going to add, I've got some back bacon. Over here, we got different cuts. You got your middle bacon, your back bacon, your streaky bacon. This is the back bacon, which does not have that much fat on it, which is why I added a little bit of oil, okay? If it had been streaky, it had more fat. So let's just break that up. But we're also adding some chorizo, and this is fresh raw chorizo, so that that can cook. So, first thing first, let's get that. And you really want to cook this so you get release the juices, the flavors. Here, let me show you. Oh, yeah! <laughs> so, uh, you want to cook that for about five minutes or so before you're going to... And then the next step, I'm going to add some vegetable stock. Now, I'm going to make my stock very easily. Stock cube. Break it up. To that. Just add a little bit of boiling water. Okay. Okay, so let's go back here and see how we're doing. Okay, look. Okay, I want to cook that because if you don't cook your meat first, all you're going to be doing is boiling your meat, okay? So we don't really just want to boil the meat with this. We really want to get those flavors. I want it to actually flavor the pot as well. So I, I even want it to go a little sticky, almost a little bit burnt, so I can then scratch at it. And then I'm going to add my stock, and then I'm going to add my curly kale, my sliced greens, 
salt, pepper. Oh my goodness, sliced greens. I remember back in the day, I used to having to pick the greens and remove oh, the Oh yeah, now you just get them, you just get them up. sliced and ready. <laughs> and then we're going to add a touch of cider vinegar, <coughs> okay? Actually, you know what? I'm going to add some of that cider vinegar right now. Let that cook on in there. And I'm going to add some salt and pepper. So I've got our pepper. Our salt. Give it a nice stir. Okay, so you can see the meat is cooking. Oh my goodness, that vinegar that suddenly just smelt like my childhood yep. when you used to make greens. Okay, gotta have a little bit of vinegar oh, in absolutely. it. Absolutely. So now I'm gonna now add half. of my stock because I'm now going to add and these come already washed now you could re-wash them you ain't got buying that time they wash <laughs> so I'm going to go curly kale then some cut sliced greens A little bit more curly kale. And some more greens. Okay. And then, because I only, only need the two, I only need half. So then I'm going to take all of this add it to another bag. I had a bag. See that bag there? Ziploc bag? Yeah, hold Just on. Send that to me. You can do it. Yes. I wash my bags. <laughs> I do. I reuse them. I turn them inside out, wash them, them back over, <laughs> and reuse them. So, now I'm just going to put this straight in because I will use these later. Now, you could freeze these. You could parboil them, but I'm going to use them in another dish. I bet a lot of you didn't know that. You know when you go into a lot of these restaurants and you get crispy seaweed? It ain't seaweed. It's kale. They slice it up real thin, deep fry it, and then they sell it to you as seaweed. But you didn't know that. So, here we go. So, behind you. Put that away. Mm -hmm. So, we'll save that. But I'm going to keep this here because you will notice it cooks down to almost nothing. Yeah. Honey, so, we may end up having to add some more. Yeah, we will. Because I want me some greens. I ain't had no greens in a while. Yeah. Now, look at this. Already. Mm -hmm. See how much. It's like spinach, isn't it? Yeah. It's it like spinach. Really cooks down. Can you see how much that's cooked down? Mm-hmm. And compared to all the meat I've thrown up in here. Yeah, you some <laughs> in the Why do I have some greens with my meat? <laughs> so, yeah. So, let's put, let's put some more in. Because they do cook down quite well. And it really depends on how much you want to cook it. You could cook this for half an hour. And then it'll just kind of be that 2000 version where it's still got a teeny bit of bite and still got some color left. Lovely. Or it could be the 1950 version. Cook it for three hours <laughs> till you cook it to death. It depends. It depends on just your take on what you're looking for. So I'm going to put the rest of this over the top. And you know what? Ain't even no use in saving no, that. Just chuck it in, Mom. I'm so it because it is cooking down. Yeah, it'll get eaten. And it will even get, if it's just by you. <laughs> it'll get eaten. I love me some greens. And I might. Just, I, do you know what? I might have some. I'll just chew it and chew it and chew it and chew it. Yeah. So let's just let that cook. So there you go. Mama Cherry is quick and easy. Back bacon, chorizo. Throw down over it.
It may say ribs. <laughs> now, the reason I said ribs is because I got ribs on my mind because that video is coming. It may have actually come to you already <laughs> before this one uploads because we did say we're going to put them ribs up at 100 and we are so close to the number. But, Mama's throw down curly greens. Delicious. So, all I got to say to y'all is... I'm going to come back and let you taste them. So don't sign off yet. This isn't the end, Mum. I know it ain't the end. This is the middle. Yeah, but I know what you were going to say. I would, no, you know, you don't know what I was going <laughs> to say. This is what I was going to say. All I was going to say to y'all is... <laughs> be patriotic to the Greens. You can stand. <laughs> or you can kneel. <laughs> it don't matter. Just stay faithful to the Greens. Oh, God, I had no idea you were going to say that. <laughs> You, you didn't know where I was going. I told you you didn't know where I was going with that. All right, we'll come back when they cook. Stop it, Katrina. Stop it, stop it. Because see, I still, I still know how to get you. I know how to get you. You think you know what's happening all the time, but you don't. You never thought that mama was going to drop to her knees. Oh, oh, oh. I said no more.